Boy, there's new studies that show people are struggling to make ends meet more than ever. April is Financial Literacy Month, and we're also going to learn from Kirk here that a lot of people are financially illiterate. Kirk Cassidy from the Retirement Education Foundation. You guys have so much knowledge and good resources for people just to start learning. Kirk, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here today. 12 years ago, we started a charity specifically around financial literacy, so I'm really excited about today. Yeah, explain that a little bit. Um, why creating this charity, and what what do, what are people what do people not know that would, they need to know? So it, it, it's such a big deal. In 2004, Congress passed a law declaring April as Financial Literacy Month, and that's because 66% of American are illiterate. Mm. And if you don't believe me, by the way, if you don't believe us, and I know some of us struggle, no, I know what I'm talking about. Go take a financial literacy quiz. We, we have one on, our, on, our, on the charity's website at retirementplanningedu.org. Take the quiz, you'll see. Okay, so uh, we're talking about just understanding some basics about saving for retirement. Is yeah. that really, so you're, you're approaching, we're, our discussion today is really approaching what long-term savings and how to, how to set yourself up right? Yes, we like to break it down into three phases, almost like a life cycle of financial literacy in the three groups. You know, we got our 20s and 30s where we are supposed to be creating good habits. Mm. All right, so a couple basics, right? Live within our means, don't accumulate too much credit card debt. Mm. Not so basic, but a really great strategy is in your 20s and 30s, let's contribute to our Roth 401ks and our Roth IRAs because we're going to be in a lower tax bracket than we will be later in life. So let's talk about the Roth IRA and explain to people the difference between that. So think of it as I'm going to pay taxes today on the seed so that as it grows, it grows tax deferred and I get it later in life tax free. Mm -hmm. So a wonderful tool because when I'm in my 20s and 30s, I'm in the lowest tax bracket I will be in my career. So let's, let's fill that up as much as we can. And by the way, increase your 401k contributions automatically. Set it up 1% to 2% a year. You won't know the difference because you're going to get a raise every year. Right. Max out that 401k. 100%. Got it. Um, okay, so Roth IRA is you're taking money that you've, uh, your income that's already been taxed. Correct. You're uh, storing it away until, when do you get, when do you have access to that in retirement at some point? So you have access to, to 50, uh, 59 and a half without any penalties and some other exceptions around education, hardship, and, and taking the original principal. It's a little more advanced, but he, here's what we want to do is two things. We want to make sure, by the way, when we're young, all we're doing is buying index funds. Stop listening to the media, the financial service industry. You don't need to hire a financial advisor. Buy the least expensive index funds. They have performed the best over any extended period of time. And by the way, if we are disciplined and create those good habits in our 20s and 30s, in our 40s, now we're going to start reaping some of the benefits. And, and that's when your income goes up. So my, my marginal tax rates are going higher. Now I want to flip to pre-tax 401ks and IRAs. Now, because I'm earning more, I'm in a higher tax bracket, pre-tax 401ks and IRAs. Okay, so in other words, you want to pay taxes on that stuff later in life when you're no longer working. Correct. And okay. when I'm young, I'm in a low tax bracket. Let's feed, pay tax on the seed. Right. When I'm in a higher tax bracket, start blending in some of that pre-tax so we can manage our taxes and sort of blend it. And when you retire, you're going to have a nice blend of tax-free money mm -hmm. and taxable money. So now we can be strategic about our income. And if we do it right, save hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes in our retirement years. Let me ask you in our uh, remaining uh, seconds here. So if people say, okay, I want to invest in an index fund. So index fund is um, where somebody has combined the companies that are going to likely make you some money over a period of time. So right? the, uh, let me simplify it. Yeah. When you buy the S&P 500, you're buying 500 of the major U.S. companies. So buy the entire index. The cost, the expense ratios are really low, less than one tenth of one percent. They performed at over ten percent over the last thirty years. By the way, a lot better than a lot of the famous people on TV every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you don't have to pay those excessive fees and try to figure out what to invest in. You're buying all of the index, all of the market, and put your money in there and leave it. 
Leave it. Don't look at a statement. Don't worry about the ups and downs of the market. It's going to come back over longer periods of time. Now, now, Dean, I would say once we approach five to 10 years of retirement, we really need to switch our strategies. We need to figure out, do I have what I need to give me what I want in retirement and start getting strategic? Warren Buffett once said, you have to be insane to risk what you have for something you don't need. So if you have what you need to give you what you want, start adjusting your risks, start adjusting your portfolio, and start mapping out an income plan. Education is where it starts. All right, very good, Kirk. Man, did we get all that? Are we ready to so. go uh, save some go, money? <laughs> um, what's the website again? It's right there on so the screen. So it's retirementplanningedu.org. We teach eight-hour courses at all the major universities for people within five years of retirement through retirement. Yeah, it's so it's it have a little bit of strategy, some knowledge. And uh, don't get caught up in all that day trading stuff where you're Please. just throwing your money away, perhaps. <laughs> all right, uh, Ryan.